Hi, I'm David Farley. I'm a general surgeon at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, working in our simulation center. One of our best practices is doing low fidelity things, models of felt and rubber and whatnot. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We think it's advantageous to our learners. This is our cricothyrotomy model. It's a pretty simple model. It comes with uh, a variety of things that are easily purchased at a fabric store or a hardware store, and we put them together. Toilet paper, insulation, a zip tie, a thyroid cartilage made out of cardboard. Ideally, don't waste so much cardboard. Put a little tape around it, put some felt over the top, tape it in place onto a picture of a man, and next thing you know, you've got a cheap cricothyrotomy model that actually does a pretty nice job. The toilet paper roll is about as firm as the cricoid membrane and um, it saved a couple lives here at Mayo. Let me show you what else we're talking about. Simple little models, not too difficult to build, but this is our chest tube placement model. For a few pennies we can get 12 repetitions of placing a chest tube. Now some of the expensive models are fantastic but putting the grid together, a little plastic over the top, so our learners can feel that pop when they sneak through the peritoneum. The little screws on the end hold it in place. We put a little subcutaneous tissue, if you will, a little skin over the top, and the next thing you know, we've got a model that we can put in 12 different chest tubes and allows learners to actually take these homes, if you will. So this is low fidelity surgery. We've got lots of models on wounds and small bowel and whatnot, but we think it's a best practice and it might be useful for your simulation center. Good luck.